All right, people, so I'm gonna show you how to make this teardrop shape right over here uh, with simple ellipse. So hit the ellipse tool and drag out a circle. And the idea is to make the top pointy. So this anchor point right here, before you really edit it, you need to change it to a path. So right here it says convert to path up top. And it doesn't seem like anything happened. Maybe in the layers palette, change the path from shape. Um, but now you can grab the direct selection tool, which is right underneath your pointer tool, sub select or D on the keyboard. And uh, it changes to this and you can, you can see that you can now click on these anchor points and move them around. So if you move up, down, however you want, but I'm actually going to try to make it pointy. Uh, so I'm changing the joint over here. So from whatever it was at asymmetric, I'm gonna change it to straight. Now that anchor point, the paths going to that anchor point are straight. So I'm just gonna pull it up a little bit, use the smart guides. You can hold down shift while you do that. And that red uh, smart guide locks your, um, your movement straight up and down. So that's basically it. That's my teardrop shape. I'm going to go back to the pointer tool and change the fill to a different color, hopefully. Oh, there we go. All right, so we have a blue color. Great. And to make a highlight, I'm just using two ellipses. So I'll go back to the sh uh, circle tool, drag out a circle, and then Command C, Command V to paste one on top. And I'm just gonna move that top one over a little bit just to skew it and then select both of them. What I'm trying to do is cut out this crescent shape. So with those two oval or ellipses on top of each other, just go over to compound shape, subtract. So the top shape is being subtracted from the bottom shape. Now you have this nice crescent shape and you can move that into place. Whoops, where'd it go? You have to select both of them. There we go. You move it into place and rotate it and change the color. That's my teardrop. Uh, I can also do this easily with the to make a heart. So ellipse, and then I'm just uh, converting it to a path and using the sub select tool to now change the anchor points. So you click on an anchor point you want to change. If you want to make it pointy. The joint is straight, and then you can drag this down a little bit. Hold shift. And that's half of a heart right there. You can select it. I just went back to my pointer tool and I'm gonna control command C and command or control V to duplicate it. Now I have two and I'm just gonna angle each side outward. Uh, if you hold down shift, you can do it at uh, designated angles or increments. So I'm just gonna do one on this side and then click the other one, one towards the other side and then you can line these up. Oops, line it up the best you can. So there's that, and then I'm just going to select all of them, or select both sides, and join them with Create Compound Shape. Now that's all one shape. You can go and color it. You can go and add a highlight if you want, just like we did before. Two circles. Whoops, Command C, Command V. And then select two circles and hit subtract to get that crescent shape. And of course that crescent shape should be like a white if it's a highlight. And then you can move right into place. If you wanna edit this crescent shape a little bit more to make it elongated, you would have to um, convert it to a path, convert to path, and then use the sub select or the direct selection tool to move around these anchor points. Like I might actually go and delete one and then just drag this one down here and move around these direction handles. See if I can click them. There, that doesn't look terrible. That's my heart shape and my teardrop shape for you. Hope this helps. Hope this gives you a couple ideas, different shapes to work with.